Today I'll be taking you on a tour of some suites aboard p and Australia's Pacific Explorer. Before the video starts, I just want to let you know that some of the footage is a bit faster than I would have liked. Uh, being a ship inspection, you kind of need to keep up and I was at the back, so I was trying to make sure I didn't get lost, but uh, please enjoy and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. The first suite we'll have a look at is a Category SA suite, number 8250, located on Deck 8. As you enter the room, you'll find the powder room located on your right, and an adjoining door that separates the rest of the bathroom, which we'll have a look at in a moment. This is the living room area, and as you can see, there's a large sofa bed. Opposite that is a large television with lots of surrounding storage, a bar fridge, and a wet bar. There is access to the balcony off of the living room. There is also a pod coffee machine, a small desk and a mirror, and an access way that can be closed with a curtain that leads you to your very spacious and nicely decorated master bedroom. There is a television opposite the bed and access to the balcony. A dressing table and chair with additional storage and a walk-in closet. The bathroom is accessed via the bedroom and here you will find a bathroom vanity, a spa bath and a freestanding shower. I've frozen the footage here to explain that behind where I'm standing is access to the powder room that we first saw when we entered this suite. All of the bathrooms in the suite category staterooms have two-way access, which is actually a big plus because it allows someone to have a shower or bath, whilst the toilet area remains free for use. The next suite is a penthouse suite located on Deck 9 and is the highest grade of accommodation available on Pacific Explorer. The powder room is once again immediately off the entry hallway. Heading further into the suite, you come across the spacious living room with pod coffee machine. Access to the balcony is also off this room. Opposite the lounge is a wet bar, large television and bar fridge. A desk area with a mirror and chair completes the room. Once again we enter the master bedroom via the access way. And you can now see the amount of surrounding storage in the bedroom area, including the television and again balcony access. There's also a walk-in closet. The bathroom is large and luxurious with a spa bath and freestanding shower. This is Stateroom 9238, another Category SA suite. The layout in this room is a little different, but you can see that the bathroom is once again similar to the other suites we have viewed. We enter the bedroom this time from the bathroom, and you can see the large mirror and console, as well as the available storage. There is also the ability to divide the living room space from the bedroom with a curtain. There is a wet bar, television and balcony access. The balcony is very large, which is true of all of the aft suites on Pacific Explorer. 
As we leave the suite, you can also see a mirror and console in the entryway. This time we'll take a look at a Category MA mini suite on Deck 10. Once again, we first come across the powder room, but moving past that, we can see the spacious living room area. There is a television, a wet bar, bar fridge, and lots of storage. This is a unique room with a different orientation. You can see that the suite wraps around, following through from the sitting area into the bedroom area. You can divide this space with a curtain for privacy. There is a console and chair, plenty of storage, a television, and then direct access into the bathroom. Where you first come across the vanity, the spa bath and the freestanding shower. Excuse the lighting in these shots, but you can once again see the powder room, which leads us back into the entryway. I hope you enjoyed that overview of the suites on Pacific Explorer. There were some really great rooms there that I got to see, and I hope you enjoyed seeing them as well. Um, I was actually really surprised by the mini suite at the back there. The size is really great for a mini suite, especially compared to some of the newer ships. So not bad at all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below. Um, I would appreciate a like for the video if you don't mind. I have more content coming. We also got to see a lot of Pacific Explorers public spaces so I'll be producing some videos of that soon and if you have any of your own travel plans coming up feel free to reach out at the cruiseandtravelguide.com.au and you can also find me on social media, both Facebook and Instagram. So thanks for watching and happy travels.